after I tried like 10 years, try to be accepted by a major gallery to have an exhibition in New York. I got rejected once after another by those uh, directors from different galleries. Of course, many of them, they won't accept new artists, period. They won't give new artists any chance. But uh, I learned something from just showing my work to these uh, galleries. At least if they just say one word, I learn from there. If they reject my work, I appreciate because I believe you have to reject yourself. You have to give up what you are doing in a way to come up with new idea, come up with new work. And over there, what we see here is something I learned. Uh, photography to photograph scenery won't be as strong as photograph people. I believe portrait is uh, more related to ourself and it can bring more relationship, bring ourselves from the artwork. So I decided to work with the Chinese zodiac signs, 12 animal signs, and I invited 12 you know, uh, friend artist around me to be my model. From there, I photographed them, find out their zodiac sign. If someone born in the year of tiger, I just... Uh, and, and for those who don't know the Chinese zodiac, your sign is the year you were born as opposed to the month you were born. The year. Yes. Instead of the months, yes. So uh, I work from there, and then I get this uh, 12 um, zodiac things uh, being called many most that time, and then I got a chance to. What gave you the idea to bring out the animal like features in humans to basically? morph these human subjects who you photographed into the animals of their birth year. What gave you that idea to give them animal-like features? I think uh, I grew up in the Eastern world. In the East, of course, Chinese, Taiwanese are included. We believe human as a reincarnation with animals, with a other kind of like a guardians, angels, with a ghost, fairies. And also we are very much related to animal in a way, uh, mythological wise. And also on the other side, Chinese people happen that they, they believe the zodiac sign has a lot to do to their fortune, to their life. Uh, for instance, last last year was the year of a uh, tiger, and then I was born in the year of a uh, rooster. Tiger is rooster, so I suppose have a very difficult year for my life. So. Many of my friends will go to temple to pray for me and then to get some little jade for me to wear, cross over the whole entire ear in a way to give me some kind of protection. Trust me, I don't believe that. But how can I not wear, you know, to take the curse? So <laughs> little by little, you have to, you live in this, those kind of, you know, uh, world. So I choose to. Uh, to do the Zodiac as my first work. Here's two more examples from the series. Um, could you tell us a little bit about your process? Yes, I, I normally just asking people uh, to be my model. And then uh, after I take the photograph, that time I was uh, taking all the picture with a two and a quarter format, uh, which is using a as a blood, shoot them, shoot the photograph on a uh, hectachrome 
I believe that was a ASA 64 in, in the way to achieve a better details uh, after I had a photograph the transparency I sent to the professional uh, lab to have them scan to become a digital form and then I work with my first uh, computer which is a uh, a quad a Macintosh Quadra 950 and then uh, from there I use Photoshop I think I start working when Photoshop has uh, just changed to 2.0 uh, using a lot of different kind of tools from all as option in Photoshop like uh, I take a section of I, I I can rotate, I can rescale, I can distort, and then... Uh, so you, you basically like, altered the faces feature by feature. Right, I don't mm -hmm. use any more uh, part at that time to, to you know, s get into my work because I try to make the portrait close to human to relate to us more. <coughs> and two more from the series and you want to tell us a little bit the story behind the year of the monkey yes I was born in the year of rooster obvious uh, but uh, I find out very difficult to hire someone to find someone waiting for me to photograph them when I tell them I want to change them to be a monkey in New York uh, I didn't know why in the beginning but then later I learned they don't want to be part of a monkey business so uh, <laughs> so I say okay since I was uh, here of the rooster and I already find someone uh, made a, become a rooster so I start to act like a monkey since then <laughs> so Daniel is the model for the monkey All right, this, this is a series not in our exhibition, um, but we'd like to share it with you here. Do you want to tell us about the Judgment series? Yes, uh, after the first series that came out, uh, I was uh, very lucky because uh, I got uh, covered by American Photo Magazine and so become uh, to be uh, published by many magazines, uh, many uh, newspapers, uh, a lot in Europe. So I thought myself I better do the next series song before everybody start copying my work. So I come up with uh, uh, this uh, series called Judgment, which is uh, uh, the after life world Chinese people, again, they believe we will be sent to a judging court after we die to be considered our next life, which we either going to turn out become an animal or we uh, continue become a, a human baby or else. So I choose a lot of uh, the the you know, Chinese uh, mythological heroes or characters in this uh, series as uh, the jury. So th in the picture they are here, they are jury number one, number three, and number four. They are, like number one was a, a big king, number three was a uh, I think it's a, a dragon king. A dragon king, and then the third one was a fox spirit. They all like uh, Chinese uh, superheroes. In in my childhood, we read a lot cartoons and hear a lot of story about this kind of story when we grow up. So again. There are from the left is a Lion King and then Snake White 
and then get the spirit. And here's the the judge of that, and then two of his guard. On the left is a, a ox head, and then on the right is a horse face. Another view. Yeah, I made made them a new version. Try to put them together uh, for a different uh, exhibition purpose. And we do have the pleasure of exhibiting 108 windows. Uh, this is, is this the original installation we're looking at? Yes. Mm -hmm. Would you tell us a little bit about this series? And as you're talking, I'll show some other images. Yes, uh, I think that was in the, after I finished the, the second series, The Judgment, I got a call from Hollywood. They want me to design their character for the island of, uh, what's the name of uh, Dr. Maroon? Island of Janice, Doctor, is that the island of Dr. Maroon. Yeah. It, it's a movie? It's a movie. Okay. Uh, but uh, they, I, I think that could be interesting, but uh, somehow they give me only two and a half months, they need uh, 76 characters. Mm. And then I only have 23 characters that time. So I say, oh well, uh, I better go just do more. And uh, at meanwhile, I had a, another thought uh, from an uh, impression I went to China. That time I, I was in a, a temple called uh, Suzhou, he had a Suzhou, uh, Han San Temple. Yeah, in Han San Temple, it was a uh, famed as their long, far reach bell stroke in the special occasion, which including the Chinese New Year's Eve. They will stroke the bell 108 times in the Chinese Eve, uh, I mean, Chinese New Year's Eve, in a way to send blessing to 108 different beings in the universe. Those take the total of reincarnation, including our lives. So I made a 108 portraits and the characters. Here's um, a better look at some of them. Yes. This so, in, so basically, in, a, in, a, in one of the Chinese belief systems, in reincarnation, there are 108 beings, but there are only, what, six types of characters? Six type of groups, yes. Yes, and, and, and six do you remember what they all are? Uh, they are, actually, they are Tian Dao, which means, uh, I think, including gods mm -hmm. and uh, guardian angels. Guardian angels. And uh, they are human Dao, including us uh, as a man. Animals? Are, no, just a human. Just, yes. Just human. And then they are a group from all animals. Right. Animals. And also they have uh, hell prisoners. Also, they are, I think they also have uh, fairies. Mm -hmm. So within these six, they mix from one to the other in they all taking reincarnation together. And we just uh, one group of them. This is Chinese uh, mythological talk. Yes. And this is how we have uh, it exhibited here, where you can see all 108 beings of the elements of reincarnation in one photographic mur mural. Now, this was your first mural scale, is that correct? Yes. Uh, this is not the first mural scale. I was uh, invited to be one of the artists showing my work in uh, 
Venus Biennale. Venice Biennale. Venice Biennale, 2003. 2003. 2003. They chosen this uh, group of work, so I, I ordered it. Try to ah, so this particular uh, work wasn't shown in mural format until the Venice Biennale of That's 2003, uh, actually, but yeah. the series originated much yes, earlier I took, in 96. I took away some of the images. Uh, I was not quite satisfied. I just re, you know, group with the new, new images. Mm -hmm. And what is this that we're looking at? In the Venice Biennale, instead of showing 108 different uh, characters, I made a audio visual form. In other words, following the stroke of each sound of the bell, I changed to a new pictures of uh, the character, the bean. So they, them, they projected them, project them as, on a video? A, as a video mm -hmm. on a curved, rounded screen, like a sculpture floating in the air. And then on the floor, I made a, the floor highly reflected and it was a sitting mat in a way for the audience to sit, to do their own meditation, maybe to help them to find out who they come from, which one relate to them. Mm -hmm. And then in 1997, you did this series of self-portraits? Yes, which was, uh, I was, uh, I got a call from one of the uh, art editor of Time magazine. And then they say they are preparing a special issue, which is a technology issue of their Sunday magazine. They invited five uh, artists in New York who using technology to finish their work. Uh, I was one of them. They want me to do a self-portrait. So I just said, okay, I will just uh, make the portrait as a sequence, picture of four to show our past and then our modern time, even our future. I, can I just go further? Yes. Uh, I have a, a a quote in the in the magazine. I said something like that. I say uh, because we have in the past, our past, we have to search food things in the dark. So we have uh, much bigger eyes in the past. And then we getting more to today. We will need to have more. I mean, we have. More information coming. We need to have a bigger brain so we will have bigger forehead. And then in the future there will be more the world getting closer and closer. There will be more international marriage and then our race going to be more mixed up in the future. That's why I start getting smaller eye and I have blue I even in the future. And a larger brain. And then hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> which leads us to, I mean, that last series, I was going to ask you if you were already thinking about evolution, which obviously you were. And then um, in uh, 1999, you uh, really embarked on a whole series devoted to uh, your thoughts about Darwinian evolution. Yes. I. I got interviewed by a few magazines, and then uh, after I finished the 108 Windows, I believe, and then they start introduce me as an artist, a Chinese artist, uh, using a, a I, I was uh, being specialized as a, a photographer using Chinese methodological, Chinese culture as my themes, then I thought that that's not the, what I really want to be. I want to open up. I want to experience. I want to explore more things. And then actually, I believe uh, Darwin's uh, uh, the, the 
evolution theories myself. So I take a challenge to myself to work more than just face, but the, our body. I, I, I try to push further. Instead, we, uh, we, we come from a monkey looking of the past. I thought we probably come from a reptile and even from the fish from the water before. And what is the, um, the, the fish that starts the series here? Uh, because I was told there's a very, very uh, old fossil, living fossil fish today, the name called Silakant, and that they find it twice already uh, in the deep ocean. Uh, the silicon fish happen in the bone part has joined on their fins. So I that gave me an idea. This fish probably relate to the past of a reptile and the past of a, a mammal to human. And in the uh, gallery here at Sama, you can see this series in an, as an animation that you created. So you can actually watch very slowly it moves, and you can see the fins grow into limbs and uh, moving in this sequence. And then uh, these are the final frames of the sequence. Tell us about nightlife. Uh, I was. Uh I, I have my, uh, I had a photo studio, actually a small firm. We have uh, seven artists working together uh, doing digital imaging. We do special effect for most uh, images. And I have a client coming uh, from most part of, I mean, uh, from United States and then uh, some, most time from Europe, from London, working from Microsoft and another big client. They coming to New York, they all looking for New York nightlife. They are looking for bars and uh, uh, nightclubs. So I still have to in entertain them. And then uh, during the time I was in the, sitting in a bar, I started to get this idea. I see people coming to the bar looking for nightlife. They getting there some themselves some drinks and then getting heavily drunk, then they start showing their animal instincts. Mm -hmm. uh, some of them, to me, act like a predator. Some start to act like a, a prey. And then uh, after a certain hour of the night, uh, I see the nightlife uh, is like a, a jungle for a uh, modern uh, human animal, myself, that mm -hmm. time. And, and so you, be, you began by shooting in the studio? Yes, I, start, I started taking pictures from a, a model. They volunteered to be uh, involved in this uh, series. And then they bring in their friend uh, one after the other. And each one or two were photographed in the in my studio, and first, and then in the end, after I have ten portraits, some of them singles, some of them has two pictures, two characters. I say, well, why can't I just uh, put a huge picture, uh, make a mural? Uh, then I took a, a while just to make this picture together and then become the nightlife we have seen. And the man seated in the center, who is that? That, uh, that was, uh, was, uh, was me. I model the monkey character again. Uh, I show a very anxious uh, expression that basically 
like uh, what I I was in in the area in that kind of.